Jonah, I may have found it. The hidden city. I'm gonna look for the serpent with a silver eye. This took forever to load. My destroying of these things, they didn't stay. Pull up. Can't carry any more. Have enough space for that. Really? Isn't that like isn't this gold? It is gold. You full on gold? The llama might give me some valuable resources. Well, this looks like a hiding spot. Do I need to be hiding? I don't think so. This is where I came from. Wait, is this the way I'm... Oh, no, it's not. Okay. All full up. Can't carry any more. So it seems I need a rope ascender for a lot of things. Yeah, I'm going that way. That's not something we have currently, so... I guess we'll just find that along the way. Probably. Likely. Ow! Help! 
Oh. I, I uh, pressed the wrong button. Oh, well, I guess there's, there's, no, <laughs> there's no one in chat. No one knows I died. I can cheat. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll do that. I'll keep the tracker on myself. It's fine. Oops. Private conversations. <laughs> it's fine. I didn't even have a conversation with shit. I don't give a shit. Okay, well, now we know there are dangerous animals here. What is this? Like a. Is it a dog or a wolf? Or a fox? I don't know. Hybrid? Full up. Can't carry any more. There's only one now? Huh. <laughs> Die to them once and then... Ja, i januari. Ja, det ja men... Inte eh, hörde det. Du sa ju snart slänger vi den så. Ja, strax exempel. Ja, men riv ut den där då till mig. Jag hoppas egentligen att färre läste dem där så att man fick... Så att vi kunde rensa lite. Nej, jag gör det sen. Mama, but kill a llama, 
llama. I did kill the llama, but... Who are you? What's your purpose here? I'm a... Versace. Lara Croft. They'll be back. We must find safety. Bring her. <laughs> you're not only my son, you're my heir. You must not court unnecessary danger. Had you not been there, would this woman have found us? I'm glad you're safe. If you're not with the cult, how did you find this place? I followed a map from a temple. I was expecting ruins, not you or any of this. <laughs> the cult. Why did they attack your son? I recognize their insignia. I know them as Trinity. I'm trying to stop them. Stop them from doing what? They're looking for an artifact. Uh, some sort of box connected to a moon goddess. Why do you want it? To steal it? Sell it? No. I just can't let Trinity, the cult, get to it first. They're too dangerous. Why? What have they done to you? They killed my father. Can I show you something? Do you know what this is? This is by Titi. You're already here. By Titi, the hidden city. But what's this eye? That is a place of death and sacrifice. And you think your artifact is there? Yes. No, none who has gone has ever returned. I'd be willing to try. You will risk it simply to stop the cult? Yes. Bring him in. Jonah. 
Are you okay? Do you know this man? He's my best friend. Abby. She's fine. Who else is looking for you? There's no one else. I believe we're seeking the same thing. We will bring you to the serpent with the silver eye, but we'll keep your friend here. You won't get very far if you're lying, and he will not be comfortable. You don't need to do that. It's, it's fine. I'll stay. Itzli, get this woman some clothes. Would you? Keep him company. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Pretty nice place. Quiet. Asshole. to my special boots. I uh, don't know your name. I apologize. Look around if you wish. I will be in the market across the river when you're ready to find the boss of Isha. Oops. I walked away from conversation. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know. I'm trying to keep a low profile. <laughs> Whoops. 29th of November, 1603. After dinner, Lopez left the city. I followed, worried he might not return. I found him standing by the riverbank, lips moving as though in prayer. Not wishing to disturb him, I waited. His communion with God must have lasted through the night, and I regret to admit I fell asleep. For the next thing I knew, Lopez stood smiling serenely over me, the morning sun behind him, creating a halo. He helped me to my feet and clasped me in a strong embrace. True, Elos, I know where to find the artifact, he whispered in my ear. It's a strange name. Sorry, I just wanted to check out that is. Please, Kane. Ah, Jonah joined us. It's so nice. Now I want to have my boots on. There we go. I don't want to know. That's just cosmetic anyway. Hmm. Enables interaction with rebels. So I can't talk to them if I don't wear that. Okay. So it does have a benefit. Okay, well, let's put that on then. Uh, da -da -da. So, what am I missing here? Hmm. Let's upgrade the guns because we can. We can. I'm gonna run out of resources soon. Get them back so quickly, anyway. Mm. 
Mm, yeah. Skill, how many? Two skill points. Okay. Oh yeah, sure. Take that one. Might get arrows back. That's nice. Even though we don't really need that either, I guess. Mm. That's fine. Where's your butt out? Hello, the, the rebels. Wanna talk to me about nothing? I heard mooing. Or maybe a horn. Probably a horn. Don't think llamas or alpacas moo. <coughs> they bleat. Oh look, it's gold! We're in El Dorado, I told you so. I wonder what this is. Some, some kind of... farm of... something. Too early. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Is this artifact? That I found. What was the thing I found? Ah, fuck it. I didn't do anything with that. I'm not sure. The dialect is familiar, but something's not right. God, this is a penguin lawn ornament, painted and decorated and placed in a location of reverence. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it's so incongruous. The locals wouldn't be able to identify the animal it's intended to represent, and they certainly wouldn't be familiar with the material the statue is made from. There isn't any plastic in Paititi. I'd love to talk to whoever did this and learn why, what they think this penguin is. It's really itchy right here. Yeah, no, I don't. But wizard, you don't have a lot to put it on. Excuse me. 
All full up. Can't carry any more. Upgraded knife. Huh. It's kind of strange that I couldn't do anything with that. Balcony. <coughs> Is it potatoes? <coughs> potato? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Stuck in your potatoes. This describes something nearby. A lone sentry stands guard over me and his harvest. If you say so. Go down here now. I'm gonna go down over here. Hach bal kich kelemech urchi. Utel jetel alap olech. Mantach ti yanech tawotoche. Mahel bishishiri. Al kabil binik tu pach le mehe shulubo. Onah kachim betik humpelu yotocheleti. Onahim betik kachil. Onahim betil wabash kachil. Min helim bisal kabil kachile. Waulak bash hachkas. Vale bello le tie. Helu yubikuba. Kasil tinguoxale. Helu tu kulti kachile. Bill is talking in nonsense language. Also, with these low graphic settings, it looks like her um, her sandals, like the, uh, the lacing, is just painted on. Why? Basta navetic. Sorry. Corn. <gasps> What are these? Are these tomatoes? I think these are tomatoes. This is where I would have gone down. Otherwise? Yes. Okay. Also, the dog just burped. No, that doesn't count for the burp counter. It's only for me. Oh, Still in corn? Yeah. Still your alcohol, though. Uh. Bet you heard that though. Why? Who's this? 
It's a marking of something. Can I get through here? I wanna get through here. Hello, let me in. <laughs> let me in. No? Boo. All full up. Can't carry any more. Man, this place is huge. That horn sound is quite mm, impossible. Annoying. I can't carry any more. Oh, cookies playing Fallout. Where is this? Oh, there's a repeat or something. Oh, wee! Down here without <coughs> breaking my legs, yeah, apparently. <coughs> Sprained an ankle, maybe. <coughs> Ooh. Ah. Oh, this Dorado. Spanish document relates one of the many stories of El Dorado, the golden one. When the first Spanish exploration ships returned home with their holds full of gold, the news spread like wildfire, and the stories got more extravagant with each retelling. Rumors of the Golden City gave birth to countless expeditions to the New World. Hey, buddy. Water here. Okay, okay, we'll go back up and down on the other side. Why? says it upsets the waterfall's waka if I play in the cave. She just thinks it's too dangerous, even though there's all kinds of neat stuff in there. Okay. Born to famine, raised in rebellion, orphaned but never alone. He rises as the sun. Where is this? Uh, okay, it's right here. Put the llama. Going this way. This is more... more water. Okay. Okay. I came from the water. My head's itching. Head, but I'm checking here. I did not. Ooh, skill point. Llama. Pet, pet the llama. Petting all the llamas. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Careful, friend of Unuratu. The jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy. No mercy. Okay. 
Mert lennál, és csak a hol. És csak a hol. But I saw. He has them. Enough, Taki. You lost your dice. Fine. But don't lie about it. Side quest. your water a bit my foreign bacteria no the lava didn't fart it bleed it that's what it's called when a llama talks Bleats. Goes. It's really dark over here. Because a kid said something about a cave by a waterfall, and I want to check it out if that's true. It's a bit humbling to be here in Paititi. I didn't foresee any of this. I was expecting an ancient place, artifacts, tombs. I just failed to imagine people. I was so focused on the trail of clues, I didn't even stop to wonder. I didn't mean to interfere, but Trinity's here. I have no one skill point. Is there anything that I... There's nothing that costs just one to hold this. Eh. No. I'm gonna save that. <laughs> I don't... Know if they have bass in South America? It might be a European thing. <sighs> a 
bunny. Google if there are bass in South America. All full up. Can't carry any more. Uh, I'm not sure. What is this? Nothing? Sure, looked like something. I don't understand. It's almost like a creel. Bass recipes is not the same as a bass itself. It only it only does say work, I think. Yeah, and then there's an an, an eyeball. This hut has no entrance. fish once at home, in the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. Funny, huh? Peacock bass. Huh. <laughs> Is that it? No. Maybe. Some kind of freshwater fish. Do you believe that major events in life can be traced back to a single moment? I do. Take what's happening now. Had Amaru and Saidi not fought that day during the famine, and had Saidi not insisted, despite Amaru's wishes, that it should be him who would go beyond the safety of the borders to hunt for the village, perhaps things would be different today. You see, Amaru felt responsible for his brother's death. I heard him the night they pulled Sairi's body from the wilderness. He was beside himself with grief. I think that was the moment. It broke Amaru. He took complete control of Paititi after that. He wanted to protect us all because he couldn't protect Saidi. Okay. What are you doing? Churning butter? Sorry. I wonder if if this is a real language or if it's made up. Chak input. Elek in kabob jedel. Jah chak in work. Tina can be speaking. Ah, God. I think there's a hair in my shirt or something. Or it might be because I showered today and then. I'm just dry, dry skin. I can see him, even if no one else can. You're seeing ghosts? Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice, and no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh, you're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll tell you what. I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It won't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me. Okay. Well, that's that's how you make Coca-Cola, don't you know? <laughs> oh, wearing shorts under this. Huh. Okay. Oh. 
guess that's to prevent any upskirt shots. Fine by me. Hello. Can I punch you? Yeah. Eh. Nope. Beautiful. Hello. You are here during a busy time, friend. The tanners, the butchers, the weavers, the dyers, even the teachers. All the districts are preparing. The market will be busy. Great things are on the horizon for the city and its people. We all must do what we can to help Kukulkan usher mm -hmm. in a new world. <laughs> Ooh, a vendor. I don't oh. recognize you. What are you doing here? Where did you get that tunic? It was given to me by Unuratu. Oh, you are the queen's guest? I meant no offense. Please, you must forgive me. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry. How may I help you? I almost spilled my uh, water. Ooh, that's actually very nice. Let's buy that. The gods favor us both. What is this? Knife upgrade? Sure. Very good. Wasn't that knife upgrade we needed for uh, for the rope? The cutting rope with black powder? Black wolf Sure. The gods favor us both. Let's buy some of these. Here you go. Just because we can. The gods favor us both. Are these condor feathers? Do I need them? Very good. I don't know. Um, sell. We can actually sell. These are the healing berries. I don't. Don't need focus plants. Max, sell all of them. The gods favor us both. What is this? Uh, perception. <sighs> Not use again, Very good. so just sell them with, with the endurance. Uh, no. Here you go. What is this? Eagle feathers? Sure. Let's the gods some. favor us both. I needed <laughs> this for something. Here you go. And then I needed this. The gods for favor us both. Here you go. Oh, that's that's the stock. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's buy everything. Oh, that's oh, we're selling. Derp. I'm dumb. <laughs> Very good. I just I just sold her my uh, the things that I had. Here you bought. go. Um, the gods favor us both. Buy this back. Very good. Guess I'm a big the gods favor us both. How much gold do I have? Capybara is an oh, it's an albino capybara. Sure. Very good. Actually, let's buy a few. The gods favor us both. Here you go. Sure. Thank you, Ishiki. Sure, that'll that'll be enough. I don't know what what the
it was um what was the other <laughs> thing? It was on the other side of the of the water. Where? <laughs> now we can take all of this and then we can sell it. <laughs> okay, um there's a merchant right there. Remember what that meant? Challenges. Hmm. Why can I? Oh. I guess we haven't been been there. It's the merchant we were. Uh, uh, was up here somewhere? Probably there. The base. Oh, that's the base camp we were at. Right, right. And sure. So let's just go back up to the top. your gunpowder. The Inca use a combination of freeze-drying and salt to preserve just about anything edible. Chaki and chunos are basically meat and potatoes. Delicious. Are we having duck? <laughs> Delicious. Oh. Hatchbank kitch kelimech No further further down. But I've, I've grabbed that. 
shouldn't it turn gray? Or are the gray ones stuff I've missed? The new methods of agriculture introduced by the cult of Kukul Khan have only succeeded in destroying more crops. First, the bee colonies collapsed. Then the cocoa crop failed. The earth is too damaged for anything but corn to grow, and the stalks are flimsy. We must take action, or Paititi will suffer a tremendous famine. Hmm. Good God, I'm... There we flimsy today. I spilled a glass of milk at dinner. Now I'm almost spilled my glass twice. I mean, luckily this is only water, but still I buy the computer. I don't want it. Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar I've Warriors. I've already spoken to you. I should. We don't have any sippy cups left, though. That's the only problem. A little advice. Stay out of the wilderness, friend. Something dangerous prowls out there. This is as near as I ever go. And even then, I make sure not to keep my back to the jungle for too long at a time. Look at that, you doggo. <laughs> Probably. But I'm not so sure she has the range to read minds all the way over in Belgium. Maybe, you know, to a neighboring suburb, like wizard, but oh, not a couple of countries away. Beware, we've uncovered a wolf den in the area, but then again, maybe that is why you're here. What do you mean? The gods have sent one outsider to hunt another. Very appropriate. Best of luck on your hunt. Oh, but I've already been there. Oh, so, wait. Oh, I can get back here. What this? What's this place? See, looks like a uh, very climbable branch. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> <Yep. laughs> a bird. Where am I going? 
During a fierce Emperor. battle, a man of two bloods throws down his weapons and, speaking with passions, convinces the other warriors to do the same. They follow him from the battlefield into the city, where they behead several merchants whose initial bickering caused the war. Hmm. Also, dog is kind of dirty. I'm getting the sniffles. But she feels somehow most comfortable in here right now, so I'll have to just bear it with the sniffles. Is this not something I can this looks destroyable? I guess I don't like it doesn't say I need anything. So. <laughs> Swan dive! <laughs> well, she's not farting in a while. So that's good. as well. Can't do that. Can do this. <laughs> Llama fart. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. Still only have one skill point. Right. Into here. I think that was the the way back. Ah, mud. I'm so itchy. I'm so itchy. Is that not where I... Oops. Wait, is this a volcano? It's a volcano. Huh. I think... Oh. <sighs> Here. Where did we come from? We came from, like... This is this is the uh, the entrance. Don't think we can see here. So this is probably not near the one we were at. But kind of does look like it. Yeah, it must be right. Yeah, cause this is the windmill. So we came this way. 
Okay. Just getting my my bearings. What? What happened? Do not go there. Very, very foggy here now. Bother me. <laughs> so this is the place I was, isn't it? No, it's not. <clears throat> I'm so confused. Had to put the last remaining mule down yesterday. Broke its leg. Shame. Terrible shame. But I think I found it. Came across an abandoned village that simply must be Z. If only father were still alive. I'm resting here for the night. Tomorrow I'll begin a thorough investigation of the site. The world will know a force that discovered the lost city. Sure. Isn't, um... What's an actress called? Or is she a model, maybe? Tara Fawcett? Actress and or model, let's say. Farrah Fawcett. I think she's from like like an like an eighties model actress. Big goofy hair. Yeah, it's like Farrah Fawcett. Is it isn't that her name? She was like, um, like Samantha Fox. <laughs> like 80s something. 70s, 80s something sex bomb. Location found. Hidden. Terrain difficult to traverse. Seems safe from the stranger's intent on forcing us into slavery. here that looks where I looks like where I climbed up and couldn't get through maybe I do need another another uh, thing tool or whatever
up a little bit. I'm smart. Sometimes. Jump. <laughs> Wee. That the way? Uh, oh. It probably is. Okay, actually, let's go back and do the uh, the swan dive. Come back up, and then we'll probably come around. Pop. Good sister. <laughs> That's my that's my arrow. Still. he dare to do that. I'm impressed, but also like... It sounds so stupid. Look, I know it's secure. Cause they've made damn sure that it is. But, you know. It still seems like an unnecessary risk for... Nothing, really. Okay, water looks deep enough. Instructors down on the ground. Uh, it's obviously he did with with friends, and a few few of them had jumped before him. May Chuki have woven us each a tunic of the finest wool. By the time we reach the afterlife. <laughs> when it was his turn to jump, he 
screamed like a little baby. I mean, I would do it too. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying he's any less of a man for doing so, or something like that, but <laughs> one of the instructors down on the ground was like, is that, is that, a, is that a boy or a girl? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, his screams can be very, very high pitched. This might be a crypt where the nobles were interred. <laughs> Is this some sort of eulogy for the people laid to rest here? These are the king and queen of Miklan, the principal underworld of Aztec mythology. Mekantakutli was the most prominent of the gods associated with death. He was often depicted as a skeleton with eyeballs in his skull sockets, and his responsibilities included looking after the souls of the departed. His wife, Miklansiwat, presided over festivals of the dead, which are precursors to the modern Dia de los Muertos traditions.
someone else has been here recently. Here's what I've been looking for. It's a trap. Probably. Maybe. So I wonder if this is probably over water at some point. So why else would there be stanchions? Did we? No, I don't think so. There was only in here. This must be something else. Okay, let's go do some main quests shit. <coughs> Whee! <coughs> Imagine if I hit landing right. <laughs> be the first stupid death. Mm. 
babes. I know who babes is. Why do I have people on my friend list who I don't know who they are? Oh, that did nothing. I wonder if I could swing better. Did I break that now? Yeah, I did. So there's nothing, nothing over there. Oh well. Whatever. Now we'll just trek through the mud again. Squish, 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 squish. Squish, squish. Little boy. <laughs> Do you have anything I can take? Probably. Nothing in here. Have you met Paimo Ishiki? The fool thinks the gods punished him. <laughs> Lazy bastard. No, I have not. Ugh. Ow, that hurt. Where am I? This town is big. Like, like big towns. Because I want to explore everything. It's too much. You know what's missing in this city? Love. It used to drift on the air, like the scent of hibiscus. That scent went away when Unuratu's husband, Sairi, died. Theirs was an infectious love. Everywhere they went, they were locked in hand. They would shop the markets together on sunny days like today, and I could swear the stalls would brighten just a bit as they passed. I had never seen two people more in love. I hope that once all of this fighting is over, that the scent of hibiscus will return. Gross. Amaru returned for his brother's funeral, inconsolable during the burial and immovable after. The next day, however, he cut swiftly through the city. He unmasked the cult's leader, exposing them as outsiders. It is time for the people of Paititi to take control of their city, he said, holding a decapitated head in one hand and the bloody knife in the other. No longer will we bow to outsiders.
what she said. <laughs> it never ends. This jade mask would have been placed on a noble's corpse during his funeral. The artisans were reputedly able to create an almost exact likeness of the wearer. Mm, that wall is claimable. All full up. Can't carry any more. Are you Pisco the dead? You can see me? At last, Pisco is seen. Are you also dead, Ishiki? No. So you are Pisco the dead? I am Pisco, servant of the gods. I'm Lara. Lara. Nice name, Lara. <laughs> Lara. You are not dead. Neither are you. Oh, but I am. As a child, I was to be sacrificed. I was brought to the mountain. The ritual was completed, but... But you survived. Only my body. I am dead to all my friends and family. I live by the offerings that are yeah. left for me. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. Taki? He's the son of a very arrogant noble. He insisted we play a game. He lost. I don't have many things, but I won those dice fair and square. If you want, I'll play you for them. Do you want to play a game? What's the game? Talk to five people who have been cast out. Hear their wisdom and tell me why Taki lost, and I'll give you the dice. I can do that. Can I? I guess I can. Huh? 
Atoli is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round, from blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their family's freedom. The god of art and games, Makwal Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change. Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in this city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. Ma, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders? Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love, but our love is forbidden. Outlawed by the cult of Kukulkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death, tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me, the outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs near the condor nests and collect their feathers. They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. Said I'm a liar. Hey, your penis is almost out. Hello? Pisco sent me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, it never happened. What outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? The gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. So what do you do now? I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see. I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I serve the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Baititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I send people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki.
Full up. Can't carry any more. Why do I have so much gold? Why are you made so itchy? The Paititians made peace with each other and followed Yaskar Yahweh, recently acclaimed as emperor, to a site in the mountains to begin anew, certain they will not make the same mistakes as those before them. Probably. An Aztec influence mask, decorated with items native to the area around Paititi. Peacock feathers. Wait. We have peacocks in South America. Showing me gold I don't need. It is busy today. Kukul Khan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own offerings. Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Paititi, if you're asking. I'm not the only one who thinks it either. Just the only one with the guts to say it, apparently. The cleansing is upon us, and it should be Unurato's line that sacrifices Kukukan to restore the sun and not the other way around. But thoughts like that have a way of getting people dead. So it's no wonder they aren't voiced. Okay. Hello, may I enter? No, okay, fine. Oh, didn't I found some some 
that so I can speak to the people. Actually, can I upgrade? No. Hello. Bunny, there is no yawn. Why? I never yawn. It's a lie. <laughs> climb up here. What one good does that do me? Why would I want to climb up here? Sassen? Don't know where I am. Don't know where I'm supposed to go. I mean, I have a map, of course, but I'm going to get a little up. La loba hat oot, ma loba. Kumbolt bill to Yolalo. <laughs> Come to plunder, outsider. Great warriors have failed the challenges. The hidden places offer rich rewards, if you survive. What are you talking about? A rite of passage. A test to separate the corn from the stock. A trial that all cultist warriors must face. Nothing for the likes of you. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm capable of. Then find the path of battle. See if you and your arrogance can survive it. <gasps> A tomb. Is that through here? Stuttering. Oh, this place just never ends. I think we go back. Follow the map. Do our side quest. Go to the main quest. And... Uh, See what happens. Have you met Paimo Ishiki? The fool okay, yeah. thinks the gods punished him. Here. I have not met Paimo. That is a woman. Um. Yes. Yeah, so like straight ahead. Mm. Mm. We've been in here. 
Yeah, I think so. It can't be an alouche. It has to be those children. Is something wrong? Huh? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Something is terribly wrong. Every morning, I wake up and everything in my house has been moved. You said something about an alouche. Oh, no, you too? Alouche aren't real. It's the children. Uh, they enjoy tormenting me. You could block the entry, then they couldn't get in. I tried that. They still found a way in. Uh, maybe I should just move. Maybe. Maybe you should. Okay, so that's where I'm going for the main quest ish. Two skill points. Ah, uh, let's save those. We need to go up. Here and Oh, because we're rebels. Blue rebels. The people of the Andes have been perfecting the art of weaving for thousands of years. This chuspas is a wonderful example woven of llama or alpaca hair and traditionally used to carry cocoa leaves. It clearly highlights the weaver's skill. Beautiful. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Bots, they're everywhere. I wonder... Oh, huh, okay. I wonder why there's been such a resurgence of bots in smaller streams lately. So this never happened a year or two ago. Haven't I been here? Yeah, I mean, I, I know, but I know that they're aimed at us. We are probably the ones that are more likely to fall mm. for it, but like... Why? Uh. Wait a minute. Right here. Unless it's above me. In which case, it's inside here. Can't get in there. <laughs> ah, fuck it. much 
God damn it. Green thing? <gasps> Llama. Huh? Eh? See? I told you there would be an achievement for petting old llamas. Ugh, ow. Oh, that hurt. Where's the, where's the people I need to talk to? This way? Do kids don't authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up, pushing boundaries. Are they in danger? No. The guards threaten, but when they were young, they threw rocks at guards too. <sighs> you you weren't the one? Boo. So that way? This way. Hello, Ishiki. Beautiful animals, aren't they? Llamas, so gentle. Even the wild guanaco in the wilderness, they love to be petted. The gods approve. You weren't it? Why are these people so difficult to find? Good grief. You? My wife is very ill, as are many others. A no? sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought that soap. A white capybara. Hello. It's you. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who are cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't the life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations duty. brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible? No, Ishiki. I heard of them. One night they assaulted my field, trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. A herd of this capybara, all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it? Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <laughs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. Last one. Oh. Boiny Cappy Bayra, right? Thy. Okay, so. F forward? If I can get up here, maybe. Or do I have to go around? That way. Lehelo, Hatch Kakas, Makop Jan, Beika Shilobe, Yetel, Cookie Mesaho. Hatch be yo, Pachu. Vale te with sobo. Cajanop catch in laxilobi. Tu catulal catch no catch. Hey! Mo! 
powerful move. <laughs> Ishiki, would you like to hear a story? One that my mother used to tell. I would love to. You've noticed the pools throughout the city, haven't you? Do you know why they exist? No, why? We once had a queen, a very vain woman. She ordered these <laughs> whales dug so that as she walked through the city, she could always see her reflection. One day, she knelt beside one of the pools, and a fish surfaced. She became very angry. The ripples in the water ruined her reflection. This queen tried to capture the fish, but she slipped and fell in and disappeared. Disappeared. Many tunnels between the whales were discovered during the search, but she was never found. Some say the queen is still down there, trying to catch that fish. Thank you. That was quite the story. Okay. So, we swim? Villager claims to have seen a strange creature in the streets. They followed it to a walled-in alley where it disappeared. Citizen describes similar experience in Upper City. Woke to discover something trying to climb in a second-story window. When she yelled, it dropped the street and disappeared. We'll continue to monitor. Each Taka of the cult of Kukul Khan vows to tie his coat to that of Yutu, descendant of the Maya. Lacking any family of his own, each Taka will live with the parents of Yutu until such time that they have built their own home and hearth. Yutu vows to tie her coat to that of each Taka. She will bear him many children, which they will raise according to the traditions of both their peoples. Hmm. What, what if, what if she's infertile? What if she's infertile? And then what? You can't just expect women to bear many children. Twenty fourth of November, sixteen oh three. I accompanied Andreas Lopez, a group of twelve soldiers and two molosses through the jungle. The directions the Jesuits provided to Trinity were excellent, so we discovered the hidden city with little difficulty. The natives of the city welcomed us warily, but we plied them with gifts, and they reluctantly allowed us to enter the city, unaware of our true intentions. Lopez has begun to search for the artifact while we distract the city's leaders. But I don't want to swan dive. I want to get to the challenge tomb. Which I guess is on the other side, but... How would I get there? There's no hangy thingy? Is it 
just... Ah! Down. No, I think it's probably up there. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's pr uh, it looks like it's just a document on that other side there. And down here, could go in, but we can't get in. Also, where is this person we're supposed to talk to? So it looks like the tomb should be like right... Oh, right <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> the temple I saw from the riverbanks. Bats and Hoon Chowen were twin brothers, older half-siblings of the more celebrated Maya hero twins. Jealous of their brothers, the monkey twins would always cheat during football matches and ruin them with their aggressive tactics. In retaliation, the hero twins lured them up a tree, a tree which never stopped growing, preventing Hoon Bats and Hoon Chowen from getting down. The hero twins convinced them that they could use their belts to climb down, but this turned out to be another trick and the belts became tails, turning the elder twins into monkeys. Okay. That's 
a lot of strange folklore around the world. I must have arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. Hmm. Let's see, we have three. I wanted this one, I think. What is this? What's that? Is this damage from me? Turn mirror one to the left. Follow the beam of light to mirror two. Direct mirror two across the chamber diagonally. Return to mirror one. These seem to be instructions of some kind, but I can't make out the rest. Only the worthy may call upon Kinichahal. Use his light to chase the shadows from your hearts in the city itself. So we're gonna do some, some mirror gaming. I don't have enough space for that. You can always carry one. Amazing. This must be where they perform rituals honoring the sun. Okay. Turn mirror one. Four mirrors, each with a different marking. They're numbered. This is mirror one. I'll need to go through the central pavilion to reach the altar. Okay. Well, it said turn it to the left, but not how much to the left, right? Is this thing? No. Mo not monoliths. <sighs> ah, I should have written it down. No, okay. 
I won't last long if I fall in the water. No, duh. All over the... Realize that. This... That... Diagonally across the room? What is diagonally across the room? This divine canoe, which carries Maya souls through the underworld and into the sky, is directed by two gods. Old Stingray Paddler sits in the back of the canoe and handles the duties during the day, while Old Jaguar Paddler sits in the front and takes care of the night shift. These two gods symbolize not only light and darkness, day and night, but also the interdependence of all equal and opposite forces. make it across. I'll have to backtrack. Yeah. But I wouldn't be able to make it across <clears throat> here anyway if I... <clears throat> Thank you. 
escape is to get out of things for us all.
snow? I don't wanna... I don't wanna play anymore. <laughs> Gonna have to redo this. <gasps> Next time! <sighs> I did start early anyway, so... Streaming for like... Two and a half hours, maybe? It's... Uh, I don't wanna... My brain... I don't like... Yeah, stream over for now. But, uh, we'll be back... Sometime. Maybe I stream during the week. Maybe. Uh, otherwise it's next Sunday. Again. Uh. I just need to find where where that stupid instruction ended up. Cause I uh, I don't know where <laughs> where I find it. Uh, shouldn't have written it down. But yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be back. I'll I'll let you I'll I'll let you know if I if I stream some other day that's not Sunday. See you, and I see you, and good night, or something. <laughs>